On opening day in the NFL in 1995, the fans of this city celebrated their first NFL game in its new stadium. And what a beauty Jacksonville Municipal Stadium is. Brought down at the 30. The Broncos will set up shop at the 30. Short throw to the left. The tackle was made by Williams. You know, that's not one of those plays that's a huge gain by any means, but that's really the essence of an offensive game plan. You have to start hitting some of those short, intermediate routes, and that begins to open everything else up. There for the catch. A pickup of four. As a receiver, I used to always love those quick little throws like that. Get the ball in the hands of an athlete and let him go. Here's the pass. Smith was there to bring him down. You know, that's the kind of pass pattern I used to always love to run because if the defense is even a little bit lax in their coverage, it's pretty easy to get that one in there. Passes it out. Bats it away. They can't hook up on the pass. Now the offense will be facing third down. Gets the pass away. The tackle was made by Smith. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set him up one play, come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. Anderson was there to bring him down. Moreno gets three yards on the play. Feeds it to the back. Tackle was made by Reggie Nelson. Moreno picks up about seven yards on the run. He rolls out to the right. Passes. Pass is complete. Peyton Hillis doesn't make it. Or did he? After discussing it, they rule no touchdown. First down now, they'll be looking for six points here. Brings it in. Peyton Hillis gets there. Actually, wait, no signal yet. They give him the score. The Broncos get the first touchdown of the game. And it's so tough to throw the football down around the goal line. Those holes are so much smaller. They have to have a little zip on the ball and keep it down. Nice throw that time. Denver is up a touchdown. Drop at the 23-yard line. Yeah, the other team just scored a touchdown. They have the momentum of the game. And right now as a play caller, I think you have to be very aggressive. Try and recapture that momentum and get this game going back in your direction. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Cuts back and he's dropped. Jones Drew gets eight yards on the play. Hands it to the back. Not sure if he reached it. They'll measure. It was enough to move the chain. The offense probably trying to build a little momentum there. Instead of taking their shot at the big play, decided to play it conservatively and just convert. Here's the give. 
The stop was made by Davis. Second down now with 10 to go. Ball on the 34. They go with the toss. Breaks a tackle, and now he has room to run. Jones Drew gains eight yards on that play. Third down now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. He's under a heavy rush. Gerard will be sacked. Something went wrong on that play. You know, you have the quarterback who makes line calls. Then you have the center who may adjust the line calls. Just watching that protection, I think something went wrong in the communication between the quarterback or the center. Somebody, that was a mistake. The Broncos ended their last drive with a touchdown, so they'll look to make it two in a row. Short throw to the run. Rasheen Mathis was there to bring them down. Yeah, very safe, simple play, hitting the underneath receiver for a solid game. He throws right, and he caught it. Tackle was made by Jaunty. And tight ends are so big that as coverage people, it's tough to figure out how to defend them. If you're on their left side, they throw it to their right side. If you're behind them, they throw it in front. Tight ends are tough to cover. Got to him just as he released it. Caught and dropped. No gain on that completion. That'll make it second down. Here's the give. He fights forward to about the 49. Groves was there to bring him down. Screen pass to the back. He breaks the tackle. Williams makes the tackle. When you get a halfback that gets in the open field with that kind of space, it is just so difficult to try and stop the screen. The offensive line got out in front. That was nice. Gets the pass out. The stop was made by Reggie Nelson. The Broncos are getting on a bit of a roll here. Nice play calling and good execution. The defense looks a little confused right now. He was hit. That was all about getting pressure in the quarterback's face. And sometimes when you get the pressure, even if you don't get there, you can disrupt his timing enough to cause a throw like that. Buckhalter takes the handoff. He gets out to about the nine-yard line before he's hit and dropped. The Denver Broncos cruise down the field in nine plays. Nice looking series. Eddie Royal has so much ability and he's well utilized really in this offense. He's a hard receiver to cover and there's really a certain toughness about him. He's going to fight you for position and for the ball. He'll down it in the end zone. This offense really needs to get something going in this series. A game like this can quickly get out of hand, and before you know it, you have to get away from that game plan and start taking more chances. Gerard hands it off. And if you can make a running back hesitate just a little, that time you could see there really was no hole, and the running back was just fishing for a place to go. Gets the ball away. And now the offense will be faced with a third down situation. Throws short. Knocked away. Mercedes Lewis was the intended receiver on the play. Royal is back deep to receive.
Royal fields it at the 37. He takes it to the 48. The Broncos are hitting a good stride right now. They'll look to make it three straight touchdown drives. Throws it out. And the pass is incomplete. Brandon Marshall was his intended target from the 48-yard line. The pass is away. The tackle is made by Durant. Lloyd is able to make his fourth reception. Flips it out short. The defense had their number during that last series as they go three and out. There's nothing more frustrating for an offense to come in and go three and out. That's just embarrassing. And it's good. Here's your sprint drive summary. That attempt didn't look like it had a chance. Yeah, he worked that one over the bar, didn't he? You could see the body language and the tilt. He was trying to squeeze it, <laughs> and it just made a good kick. The Jaguars are in a dangerous territory right now. This one's gotten a little out of hand, but a touchdown on this series, maybe your defense gets a little momentum going. On the ground, up the middle. Breaks a tackle. Davis was there on the tackle. They get five yards on the play, and that will bring up second down. Throws it. He's there for the catch. What happened there, Chris? Well, they got caught man-to-man -man coverage on that play, and I couldn't tell if the defender slipped a little bit or not. Maybe he just got beat on the play. They'll give it off here. Still on his feet. Nothing makes a defensive coordinator cringe more than seeing that kind of run because then it sets up the play action and there's almost no way to stop an offense if you can't stop the run and you have to deal with play action. They hand it off. Stiff arms and the defender still makes the tackle. A five-yard gain. That'll bring up second down. Dumps it out right. Brian Dawkins was there to bring him down. The Jaguars are having some success getting the ball down the field on this drive. This offense is clicking. Again, he'll get the call. Davis makes the tackle. A gain of six yards. That brings up second down. Hit on the pass. He goes up high for the catch. Bailey was there on the tackle. David Garrard sure is looking confident throwing the football right now, and that's good to see because if he struggles, typically it's with his accuracy. Jones Drew gets it on the inside. And it looked like this defensive line just beat him off the snap. Sometimes those guys can time out the quarterback's cadence. And if the quarterback doesn't start changing that snap count, his offensive line is going to really struggle. Makes the catch. Touchdown, Jacksonville. I remember when fullbacks used to look oh, more yeah. like offensive guards out there. Now you got guys that can catch it and run it in for the touchdown. What a play. Scobie packs on the extra point. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. Hit and dropped at the 26-yard line. The Broncos take the field looking to put together a scoring drive. They came away with three the last time out. Gives to the back. Anderson makes the tackle. Moreno gets about four yards on the play.
John Henderson was there on the tackle. And Tom, that was because the defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stopped them for a minimal game. He's dropped at the 37 by John Henderson. No, Sean Moreno does a great job to get free and pick up the first. Let's get that swagger, y'all. Let's get that swagger. Throws it. John T gets his hand on it. Second down now following the incomplete pass. Hands it off. Moreno fumbles. Denver is able to fall on. It's not often that a fumbled ball bounces right back to you like that. That was just good luck. He needs to get rid of it. And it's completed. And he Royal is able to make his fourth reception. First down now and 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. On the ground with a tailback. Nice call there by the defensive coordinator coming with the outside linebacker blitz, which really put some pressure on this group up front. Buckhalter on the handoff. Reggie Nelson makes the tackle. Buckhalter gains about four yards on the play. Passes it. Comes down with it. The Broncos are putting together a good-looking drive here. That's their third first down. Here's the give. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Well, the halfback delay is really one of those plays that you're dependent upon the defensive lineman really believing it's a pass and trying to attack the quarterback. That time, those defensive linemen, they didn't believe. And this one looks like it's going to come back. Oh, man, terrible. That penalty will bring up a second and long situation. Here's the throw. The stop was made by Smith. Lloyd with his fifth grab of the game. Deep throw, end zone. Royal is rocked, and it causes an incompletion. Yeah, he got rocked, and the ball rolled. There was nothing left after that hit. And he makes it. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. I had my doubts about that kick. Yeah, he just squeezed that one in there, didn't he? I'm sure he's going to be exhaling for about the next 30 seconds. Still pushing. Dropped at the 38. The Jaguars will look to build momentum by getting another touchdown on this series. On the ground with a tailback. Runs right through the tackle. First down, 10 to go. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Doomerville is there on the tackle. A five-yard gain, and that will bring up second down. He needs to make a decision, and he's deep cleated at the 45-yard line. The sack on second down will bring up a third and long situation. They'll need 14 to convert. Hey, don't get scared, baby. Don't get scared. 
All kinds of pressure. When you get that kind of pressure, a lot of times the play will result in something worse than just an incompletion. Eddie Royal is back awaiting the punt. It'll go out at the 35. The Broncos' last possession bogged down after starting off so well. They marched right down the field, but then had to settle for three. He's running out of time. Rasheem Mathis gets his first sack of the season. Obvious passing situation here on second and long. Gets the pass away. It's incomplete. Mathis was defending on the play. Passes the ball. Is there for the catch. The Jaguars came onto the field with a ton of energy that time. They controlled the line of scrimmage and didn't allow that extra yardage. Fourth down. The Broncos are lining up to put it away. He gets it out to about the 38-yard line. It's only a two-possession game, but still, they need to get their offense going before things start to get out of hand here. Gerard hands off. Drop behind the line. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want. But ultimately, this game comes down to one big man against another big man. And that time, the defense's big men, they won the battle. I really like what they did that time. Nice job by the Broncos. Gets the pass off. Leaping catch. Tackle was made by Champ Bailey. And he went way up to snag that one. That was a pretty catch. Here's the pass. There for the reception. It's tough to pay too much attention to a running back in the passing game because at least half the time they're staying in the block. So when they do slip out, occasionally they can hit you for a big play. The halfback with the carry. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. Jones Drew picks up about four yards on the play. Fullback straight ahead. The stop was made by Tullock. They pick up two yards. That'll bring up third down. Throws it short. Not exactly what they were hoping for from that pass play. They took what the defense gave them, but it turned out to be not too much. And he makes it. Here's your sprint drive summary. Well, that one looked like it was going wide, but it barely made it in. That one just made it inside the upright. That's one where you see the field goal kicker going. But he got it. Brought down at the 26-yard line. They were forced to punt on their last drive. Passes it out. At the 40, he's down the sideline. To the 10. Reggie Nelson is there to bring him down. Run the ball, sell the run, play action pass, and it really just opens up your passing game. The key to throwing the football in this league is running it well, and this play action is starting to work. Broken up. Second down coming up after the incomplete pass. Now he's scrambling, and they got him. That was a very good effort by the Jaguars.
passes to the end zone. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. So the score now, the Broncos 23, the Jacksonville Jaguars 10. They get him at the 22. The Jaguars had some success on that last series, putting up three points, but now they're going to want to take it to another level with a touchdown. Gets the pass away. There for the catch. Attacker was made by McBath. And when you get a wide receiver with that kind of talent on the outside, he is a threat to take it all the way on any play. Jones Drew gets the handoff to the right. Jones Drew gets three yards on the carry. Second and seven situation here. And he makes it out to about the 47 yard line. Hullock was there on the tackle. So it's third down now. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. They hand it off. The stop was made by Tully. Well, that's just a big run stop right there. You have a very proud defensive line that was just going to take control of that situation. Not a good bounce on this one. The Broncos will look to follow up that field goal drive with at least three more here. They've looked sharp, and they don't want to lose that edge. They go with the run. The tackle was made by Durant. They get a good seven yards on that play. That'll bring up second down. Here's the halfback. They tackle him for a loss. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. Passes. He leaves. It's caught. You can tell these guys practiced that play quite a bit. Yeah, I can remember hearing stories about uh, old-time players in the NFL that literally they could go out in the pitch black and make throws and catches without really even seeing the ball. That's the kind of timing we're seeing today. Lloyd was the intended receiver. Dumps it out left. Tipped it away. Cox had the coverage on the play. Third and ten. Gets the pass out. Cox makes the tackle. Royal with his sixth reception. Throws it short. Pass is complete. Williams was there on the tackle. Lloyd has seven catches in the game. Hurst will hand it off. He fights forward to about the 29 before he's wrestled to the ground. This is the ninth play of this drive. Sheds one tackler, a pickup of four, and so it'll be third down. He rolls out to the right. Well, the defense didn't get the sack, but they got the next best thing, and that was a bad throw. And it's good. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint.
they get him at the 29-yard line. The offense really needs to get something going on this series. Maybe even just a field goal on the board is enough to get them jump-started. Gets the ball away. Brings it in. Macbeth makes the tackle. Walker makes his 40th catch of the year. Throws it out. He makes another reception on the drive. The Jaguars are doing a pretty good job in the passing game. The receivers are finding some space in the secondary, and the ball is getting there on time. The pass is away. And he caught it. Down he goes. It's going to be a Jags first and goal. David Garrard is really feeling it right now. He's got the hot hand, and you know, normally he's not a guy that's going to hit a bunch of passes in a row, but he's hot right now. The stop was made by McBath. A pickup of about seven, so that'll make it second down. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. What a run that was. He was trapped behind the line of scrimmage. It looked like he was going to go down for a big loss. Instead, he breaks the tackle and runs it in for the touchdown. Scobie is good on the point after. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. He makes it to the 23-yard line. The Broncos were having their way with this defense last time out, but were held to just three points. They'll look to top that here. Throws it. He's there for the catch. Durant is there on the tackle. This guy's putting on a show out there. And it's a show I'm enjoying watching. Wow, 300 yards already in this game. I hope the trainers have a little ice for his shoulder and maybe a little ice for the egos of that defense. The tackle was made by Rasheem Mathis. Anytime you blitz, you're going to leave yourself a bit vulnerable in the secondary. Somebody's going to be open or at least have a little extra room to operate. And if the offensive line can pick it up, you're in trouble. Rolls right. Still moving. First. And if he can get just a little bit more time, there are guys running open down the field. The pressure is getting close, but it's not there. He should take a fraction longer to make that throw. He throws right. He makes another catch. To the 10. Touchdown, Bronco. Lloyd has been a very effective weapon in the passing game today. That last catch puts him above 100 yards. Prater adds the extra point. Here's your sprint drive summary. All right, I got you. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. The Jaguars got a little boost on that last series by punching it in. Now they want to build on that. They go with the toss. Got away from the tackler. Now he has space. Across midfield. Inside the 30. To the 20. To the 10. They'll get in for the touchdown. The Jaguars only needed one play to get it into the end zone, and it was a big one. Man, that is just pure speed. And when you have jets like that, it really throws a bit of fear into a defense because they know you have the ability to make a play from anywhere on the field. Still going. The Broncos offensively looking pretty strong right now. and They've got the look of a team who may be going in for the kill here. Too early to entirely put it away, but a touchdown would certainly be tough to overcome. Give to the tailback. The stop was made by William. Moreno comes away with five yards on the carry.
is going to be tackled for a loss. Well, those defenders get paid too, and every once in a while they win the battle. Clearly that time they were all over this offensive line. Throws it. Makes the catch. Tackle was made by Roy Williams. That completion puts him above 2,500 yards passing for the season. Gives it up the gut. Moreno gains about a yard on the play. Not very often in a game does a defender get a clean shot like that on a running back. Typically, the running back didn't see it coming to take that kind of a shot. Moreno off the right side. The stop was made by Jonti. Third down once again. Let's see if they can convert this one. Short pass to his left. Looks like he had it, but it's not loose. Lloyd thought he had a sure catch. And you know you're going to get hit as a wide receiver. You've got to hang on to those balls, but that was a big shot. He fields it at the 17. The Jaguars on that last series proved they can move the ball on this defense. They just need to keep it rolling now. Jones Drew drops it. Macbeth gets his hand on it and scoops it up. The defense makes something happen to force the game's first turnover. Give to the tailback. The tackle was made by Anderson. They go to the run. Well, if you're going to make a living in this league as a running back, you're going to have to make somebody miss at some point. And that was a big somebody in the backfield that time, able to escape and stuck it in for the touchdown. Prater is good on the point after. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. Brought down at the 25. They'll set up shop at the 25. They're going to pitch it. Brought down behind the line. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. Maurice Jones-Drew has now rushed for 50 touchdowns in his career. Gain of nine. You know you have a pretty special player at the running back position when despite the fact that they're run blitzing him now, he can still get out of there and still come up with a nice game. He throws left. The stop was made by Alfonso Smith. The Jaguars are picking up nice yardage just about every time they go to the air. I'm not sure what's happening with the defense right now, but they seem a little out of sorts. Tackle was made by Bertrand Berry. Jones Drew gains around six yards on the run. The stop was made by Dawkins. Jennings gets his first carry of the game. Pollock was there on the tackle. Pollock has been on a collision course with the ball carriers. That takedown marking his fifth tackle. Here's the give. He can't bring him down. Jennings gains about four yards on the play. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Hey, 
Moves to his right. The stop was made by Dawkins. The Jaguars get another good gainer that time. This offense is finding early success in the passing game. Defense closing in. Gerard can't escape the pressure. And that's sack number four in the game. The pressure by this defense has been there all day. And offensively, they're just struggling trying to come up with a protection scheme that works. Passes it. He thinks he hauled it in, but we'll see what the officials say. And they give it to him. About as close as you can get right there. A shoelace, maybe just one cleat down. That's all it takes in this game. Throws it deep. Drops the easy pick. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. And takes a terrible bounce. The Broncos are looking like a confident bunch on offense right now. If they can put together another touchdown drive here, they'll have a significant advantage. Hurst gives it left. Still working. Durant has just been executing like he's holding a grudge. He's now up to eight tackles for the game. Denver, calls Denver takes timeout. a timeout, and they've got two remaining. Moreno on the inside handoff. The Broncos will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Short yardage situation here. They'll need a little less than a yard to convert. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. He picks up three yards and a first down. Those aren't runs that look really pretty in the statistics the next day. But when you keep moving those chains, it makes a difference and he will lose yardage on the play. Anderson has been on a collision course with the ball carriers. That takedown marking his fifth tackle. The tackle was made by Jaunty. Well, that was the perfect time for them to call a blitz. They got in there, filled up all the gaps, brought down the running back for a short game. First, hands off. John Henderson was there on the tackle. Yeah, and for a minute it looked like he might slip out of there, but uh, the defense got there, the pursuit was all over it, and they made a nice stop. Hit and dropped at the 34-yard line. And this is a great opportunity to get back into this ballgame. This offense needs to put a nice drive together right now. On the ground with a tailback. Davis makes the tackle. Gain of two. That brings up second down. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone before halftime. Here's the throw. And it's completed. The stop was made by Brian Dawkins. We'll take you to the studio now for halftime. Welcome to the Halftime Show. Let's get you caught up on what's happening around the league. Let's catch up on what's happening on the scoreboards. Let's turn to your game stats. There was a big discrepancy in the number of plays run by each team in the first half, and the edge was held by Denver. Lloyd has over 125 yards receiving. Denver has the lead, 40-24.
Now let's take a look at some of the top plays from the first half of your game. The second half is about to begin. Enjoy the rest of the game. Welcome back to Jacksonville Municipal Stadium. He'll take it from the two. He's tackled at the 29 yard line. They'll take over at the 29-yard line. Gerard hands it off straight ahead. Jones Drew comes away with five yards on the carry. They line up at the 34. Throws it short. Right through his hands, he almost had the pick. Third down coming up after that incompletion. Short throw. Comes down with it. To me, that's the difference in a college quarterback and a professional quarterback. That little touch throw, over the top, beautiful timing. That was a pretty play. Jones drew on the inside handoff. A gain of three yards. Well, that time the outside linebacker came on the run blitz. They got some penetration and shut down the play. They go with a fullback. Won't be stopped. The Jaguars have shown dominance in the ground game. They're not letting up one bit. They'll probably look to keep pounding it so they can tire out this defense in the fourth quarter. Another run. The tackle was made by Wilson. Jones Drew gains about two yards on the run. Jones Drew gets it on the pitch. Got away and he's got space. Gains his way to the 20 yard line before he's gang tackled. It's first and 10. Short throw to the left. He gets knocked out of bounds at the six by Wilson. Yeah, he scored a few style points with that one, but more importantly, they pick up the first down. Good job. Stays on his feet. How about that sweet little spin move there? That's the kind of moves you've got to have in the NFL. That one worked beautifully. Again with the carry. And he's in for two. Great job there. They were able to convert. And you could tell the offense had a plan throughout that drive. Not only did they get the touchdown, but they immediately got the call in for the two-point conversion. They knew exactly what they wanted to do and executed it perfectly. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. They get him at the 37. They'll take over at the 37. Moreno on the run. 
Yeah, great defense at the point of attack, but also very impressive, the pursuit to the ball. They were all coming there. Gets the pass away. Williams was there to bring him down. He's simply putting on a passing clinic out there. Yeah, and this defense should have to pay for admission to this clinic because I tell you what, he is teaching them a thing or two about playing offensive football. No matter what this defense does to try to stop them, they simply cannot. Marshall has six catches now. they'll run him again he doesn't get back to the line yeah sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage passes the ball is there for the catch Royal makes his seventh grab of the game first and ten ball on the 38 yard line Gets the pass off. Williams makes the tackle. Brandon Marshall has seven catches in the game. Nelson will drop him behind the line at the 26. He still can't seem to find any kind of rhythm in his ground game today. Give the defense credit. He throws short. Touchdown, Denver. Hurst has thrown four touchdowns today. Prater adds the extra point. Here's your sprint drive summary. He's still going. Brought down at the 23. The Jaguars ended their last drive with a touchdown, so they'll look to make it two in a row. They give it to the tailback. Breaks a tackle. This entire team has really given it their all in this game. And I, I know they're still on the wrong end of the scoreboard, but clearly this is a determined effort by this back. Jones Drew gets the call again. Those are the kind of runs that really wear a defense down. You just keep pounding it in there, three yards, four yards, pick up four there, and a first down. They hand it off. He gets out to about the 35 yard line. Wilson is there on the tackle. Here's the pass. Dillard was the intended receiver on the play. Third and eight. Gerard gets sacked. Tremendous effort and good teamwork by the Broncos. And he royal back deep to return. Runs over Tackler. The Broncos have been rolling so far, and now they can really start to take control of this one with another touchdown. Sacked. Nice job on the line by the Jaguars. They're looking at a second and long here after the sack. Dumps it out right. 
It looks like he was able to bring it down inbounds. They'll discuss it. He took a stab at a great catch, but that time just didn't happen. gets that one away. Anytime you give up that quick pressure like that, very seldom are those passes completed. Dennis Northcutt is the return man. Northcutt fields it at the 35. He takes it back to the 43. The offense has to find a way to put some points on the board, and it has to start happening now. And the pass is knocked away. And they can't complete the first down pass attempt. Second down coming up. Looks to be about a nine yard gain. Well, they brought the blitz that time. The offensive line did a pretty good job recognizing it. They got the blocks, but the back was still able to get out of there for a nice gain. Dumps it out left. Pollock has it. The tackle was made by Thomas. Oh, God, you know, it's like hard that. to believe that you can lose a guy that big, but sometimes those linebackers dropping underneath in coverage, quarterbacks just don't see him, and he threw it right to him. Not much time to throw. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. Second down for the offense after that incomplete pass. Moreno takes it left. Durant is there on the tackle. When your running game is struggling, you have to start looking for offense from some of your other players. If they can loosen it up with a few passes, it should open up those running lanes again. Passes it out. Broken up. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. And he makes it. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. And that was not an easy kick, Chris. Yeah, it looked like a little adrenaline kicked in on that one, didn't it? Maybe even surprised him how far he hit that one. He'll down it in the end zone. The Jaguars are looking to dig themselves out of this big hole that they've dug themselves into. And at the very least, you have to show the guys on the other bench you're not going to roll over. Hit as he let go of the ball. Just missed that time, bringing him down for a sack. But great pressure to force an incompletion. Gets the pass away. It's tipped. And now the offense will be faced with a third down situation. Rolling right. There for the reception. The Broncos are flying to the ball on that series. There's no way they were going to let them get a first down. Royal is back deep to return. Takes this one out to the 46. The Broncos put up three points their last time out. They hand it off. The stop was made by Williams. Williams with the takedown again. That's his fifth tackle of the game. Moreno takes the handoff. Gains his way to the 40-yard line before several defenders bring him down. He 
He gets out to about the 38-yard line before he's dropped by a host of tacklers. Passes on the move. Knocked away. They can't hook up on the pass. Now the offense will be facing third down. Passes. There for the catch. He's now over 100 yards receiving in the game. This is just one of those guys that can get separation. He always has a little space between him and the defender, making it easy on the quarterback. He throws right. They get him down, but the huge play will result in a first and goal for the Broncos. They hand it off. John Teed makes the tackle. He's starting to show some frustration after another short game. This defense has really made a tough going. Here's the give. The stop was made by Harvey. And that's why you send all those guys to plug up the holes. And that time there were no holes, really. And he was lucky to get anything on the play. Again with the carry. No official signal yet. The call is not a touchdown. It's fourth down, and this should be an easy three. And he makes it. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. So the score now, the Broncos 53, the Jaguars 32. They can't bring him down. They couldn't do anything against this defense on their last drive, and they were forced to punt. Jones Drew takes the handoff. About six yards on the play, and that will bring up second down. Short throw to the left. David Garrard was simply trying too hard that time. He got a little excited and let that ball get away from him. That's something that you'll see from inaccurate passers from time to time. Gets the pass out. Tackle was made by Smith. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that. And that's a pattern that this team likes to run. You know they've been studying that all week on film, and yet they still can't stop. They get to him. The Broncos have been the dominant line today. I'll say that's six sacks for them now. And, you know, it's really been the entire defense. It's not just been the defensive line or the linebackers or the secondary. This is a complete pressure kind of a defense. The stop was made by Hill. Underwood picked up six for that grab. Gets the ball away. Brought down at the 21-yard line by Brian Dawkins. It's one of the dangers. You bring those extra defenders trying to get after the quarterback, and you're going to leave some man coverage on the outside. That time, the quarterback able to take advantage. Doomerville was there to bring him down. Doomerville is playing with some intensity out there. He's been in on five tackles so far. and drop behind the line. Yeah, it really just throws you off rhythm to have a play that gains nothing. You know, you're usually you're going to get something, two, three, four yards, and it keeps you in that rhythm. But when a defense makes a play like that, it really throws your offense off. 
just gets it off. David Garrard is really carving up this defense with yet another completion. He's now up over the 300-yard passing mark. Kobe is good on the point after. Here's your sprint drive summary. He'll down it in the end zone. The Broncos were able to get three points on their last possession. They'll give it off here. The tackle was made by Roy Williams. They got four yards there. That'll bring up second down. Throws it out. This is going to be close. Did he come up with it? The ruling is incomplete. He took a stab at a great catch, but that time just didn't happen. Short throw to the right. The stop was made by Roy Williams. And Royal has 10 catches in the game. Hands it to the back. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. And I really like the discipline of this defense. You never see these guys trying to do too much. They control their gaps, and that time there was nowhere to go. Hurst gives it up the middle. A pickup of about three. The defense did a nice job there jamming the running back, bringing the outside linebacker on a blitz. Sometimes those outside backers are a little more athletic and can really help stop the run. Makes the short throw. Makes the catch. And he's got nowhere to go. Good job all the way around by the defense that time. Not only did they have the deep routes completely covered there, but they also had the check down well within their grasp. It'll go out at the 38. The Jaguars looking for another seven on this drive. They're still behind, but they can build on the momentum of that last drive if they can put one together here. Jones Drew gets the ball. He makes his way to about the 48. Camp Bailey is there on the tackle. So we'll head to the fourth with our score. The Broncos 53, the Jaguars 39. The Jaguars start this final quarter with a the ball. They'll be looking for a quick score. And they really ran right into the blitz. That's a time that a veteran quarterback should have changed the play at the line of scrimmage. You could see the blitz coming. He didn't audible and only came away with a short game. The pass is away. It falls incomplete. Camp Bailey was defending on the play. Dumps it complete to his tight end over the middle. The intention of that play was to put the ball in the hands of a playmaker at receiver, allow him to make a move and pick up the first down. He was unable to do it, and that brings up fourth. And takes a terrible bounce. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. Here's the give. The tackle was made by Roy Williams. Just about three yards there. As a quarterback, you really want to make that pre-snap read, and it's kind of hard to not see the middle linebacker. He came on the blitz that time, and sometimes you just need to get out of a play like that about four yards on that play and that makes it third down the 
stop was made by Durant. A little counter play there designed to get the defense going one way. You cut back and go the other way. Not a big gainer, but enough for the first down. Moreno gets the carry. Tackle was made by Anderson. They line up at the 31. He rolls out to the right. Pressured. It's intercepted. The stop was made by Harris. Boy, the defense put the pressure on and forced the bad throw. And throwing the football is really about what you do with your feet. The great ones can throw off balance and out of position, but so many guys, if they don't get their feet set, they make throws just like that, and it costs their team. Pass is complete. Jones makes his third catch of the game. From the 17-yard line. Short pass. Brings it in. It'll be first and goal. Dillard makes it five catches for the game. There's no way we're going down. Gerard with the game. Some plays. Tackle was made by Davis. Six-yard pickup. That brings up second down. Hands it to the back. Wilson is playing with some intensity out there. He's been in on five tackles so far. Gerard hands it off straight ahead. He's seemingly unstoppable out there. There aren't many guys in the league who have games like this. You can bet he's going to be bringing that ball back to the sideline with him. It's good. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. Brought down at the 30. They'll start at the 30. Throws it. Out of bounds, incomplete. They brought the blitz that time. Didn't get there, but did throw off the timing of the play to get the incompletion. Moreno gets the call. Moreno comes away with two yards on the carry. They line up at the 32. Throws it. And the pass falls incomplete. And that will be a three and out for the offense after that incompletion. Really nice defensive stand. It just seemed that the defensive coordinator was inside the offensive play caller's mind that time. It'll go out at the 44-yard line. They'll get the ball here at the 44-yard line. Dumps it out right. Pass falls incomplete. Doomerville has the coverage on the play. On the ground with a tailback. Again, they go with the run. You know, I understand you can't completely abandon the running game, but my goodness, let's go. Let's pick it up. You've got to put some points up. The defense has him surrounded. Under pressure, he felt the heat that time and was forced to throw it away quickly. Royal awaiting the return. This one's going to go out of bounds at the 32-yard line. The Broncos will begin this drive at the 32-yard line. Right, 
Moreno takes the delayed handoff. Anderson makes the tackle. Anderson records his eighth tackle of the game on that play. They go with the run. Three yards there. Very effective call that time by the defensive coordinator, bringing the outside linebacker a terrific way to give your defense some help in stopping the run. Passes it. And the pass is incomplete. A missed chance to make a big play there. He seemed to get a little too excited and just made a really poor throw. He fields the punt at the 20. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. They didn't look sharp on their last drive and were forced to punt it away. They're going to pitch it. Still moving. He fights forward to about the 30. Bertrand Berry was there to bring him down. They hand it off. About four yards on that play. That'll bring up third down. The offense needs about three yards to get the first here on third down. Gives it off. He can't bring him down. Did he get there? We'll have a measurement. It was up there. The referee signals to the sideline. They're that close. It's fourth down. The Jaguars lining up to punt. Royal is back awaiting the punt. Royal takes it at the 25. The defense played exceptionally well the last time this offense had the ball. Here's the throw. John Teed was there on the tackle. He's caught passes totaling 200 yards. Maybe the defense needs to focus in on him a little more. And there are ways that you can take a single receiver out of the game. The problem is this offense has too many other weapons, so they can't really just focus in on this receiver. The offensive line has really struggled so far in this one. This defense has been getting consistent pressure throughout. Right now, they're just beating them to the punch. They're a little quicker off the ball, a little stronger at the point of impact. And he caught it. Tackle was made by Cox. That's a first down right there. Might want to play them a little tighter. Maybe even go to man cover. Yeah, it's pretty tough to play a zone coverage against this quarterback. He does a great job in recognition. And that time you could see him move the zone defense just a little with his eyes before he threw it in there. The defense just didn't match up well on that one. Yeah, tough to match up one-on-one -on -one in man coverage against that wide receiver. He's pretty good. Moreno lost the ball. And the offense gets the recovery. Very nearly a huge break for the defense that time. They're over there holding their heads saying, how close we almost had it. Hands it off. Anderson was there to bring him down. Buckhalter picks up two yards with the carry. Gets the pass away. Smith makes the tackle. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did. And when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. They'll give it off here. The stop was made by May. Buckhalter gets seven yards on the play. Let's go, let's go. 
Gives it off. Jaunty makes the tackle. They get two yards, and so it'll be third down. Again with the carry. Still going. Terrell Buckhalter gained around six yards. That'll be enough to get the first. Buckhalter takes it up the middle. Groves was there on the tackle. You know, one of the dangers of blitzing is that if you can break that first line of the defense, now you just don't have the pursuit in behind it to stop the run. Hurst will hand it off. Again and again, another first down. This offense has been really impressive on this drive. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. And defensively right now, you can see the fatigue starting to kick in. To the end zone. Drops the sure pick. Well, you can't just stare down one receiver on a play like that. The defense is going to be all over it. He was lucky he didn't get picked off there. The tackle was made by Meyer. Oh, yeah, good job, fellas. Good job. And this is the 15th play of the current drive. Goes for the end zone. No completion. Tony Scheffler was his intended target. Fourth down. And this one is a chip shot about 19 yards out. It's good. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. So the score now, the Broncos 56, the Jaguars 46. They get him at the 25. They could do nothing against this defense on their previous drive. Jones Drew on the handoff. Jones Drew gets six yards on the carry. So second down now. The offense needs about four for the first. He passes short. He's there for the catch. Walker is proving once again that he's an extremely versatile weapon, passing the century mark and receiving with that reception. They go with the run. The stop was made by Hill. First down now and 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Passes the ball. Incomplete pass. David Garrard has a reputation as a bit of a wild thrower. Sometimes, I don't know, maybe it looks like he's almost aiming the ball. If he just relaxes and just goes back to the fundamentals of his mechanics, I think he'd be fine. Throws short. The tackle is made by Doomerville. Pick up of eight on the pass. Third down now, needing a couple to convert. Ball on the 43. He throws left. To the 10. And that'll be his third scoring strike of the game. Three touchdowns on the day now. Not perfect today, but certainly an impressive passing performance. It's good. Here's your sprint drive summary. With less than four minutes to go in the fourth. The score, the Jaguars, 53, the Broncos, 56. Buckhalter fields it at the goal line. Brought down at the 26-yard line. They'll go to work at the 26-yard line. They'll give it off here. The stop was made by Durant. Four-yard gain, and that will bring up second down. Play, play, play. 
dropped behind the line. You know, listen, I would never want to block a defensive lineman. So, you know, I've seen these guys. I know these guys. They're big and they're nasty. But at least from an offensive standpoint, you have to try to get in the way. Another run. The tackle was made by Anderson. Buckhalter picks up five yards with the carry. And just when you thought this offense was going to have a chance to really put this thing away, the defense comes up with a huge stop. They'll have to punt the football away. And now offensively, you have a chance to win it at the end. It's fourth down. The Broncos ready to punt this one away. Northcutt fields it at the 27. Brings this one back to the 37-yard line. You know, I know they have a chance to tie it with a field goal here, but I think you have to keep firing in this situation. You have to try and go win the game Throw it down in the end zone. I know it's risky. I know you can blow the football game. But if you take it to overtime, you have no assurance whatsoever. You'll even get the ball back. Repeat, first down. So the penalty will put them back in a first and 15 situation. Gets the pass off. Makes the catch. Makes the grab. No signal yet. We'll see what they rule. Short yardage situation here. Second and a yard. Here's the pass. He's tackled around the 40-yard line by William. Thomas makes his third catch of the game. Passes it out. The stop was made by Brian Dawkins. David Garrard is not really known for his accuracy, but uh, boy, he sure is getting the job done on this series. Lloyd was there to bring him down. Greg Jones with his fourth catch of the game. He's under a heavy rush. The Broncos have been blistering these guys. That's now seven sacks. Seven sacks. At some point, it's time to say, hey, call off the dogs over there. This thing's going to be over. Falls incomplete. Good release that time by the receiver at the line of scrimmage, but the pass simply was just not there. Gets the pass away. This is close. They'll bring out the chains. They're just inches short. Fourth down. This one is from 19. Basically like kicking an extra point. He's got it. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. That kick just really gave his team new life. Yeah, that was a big kick to tie this game, but now the focus really shifts to your defense. They have to come out, make a stop, try and take this thing into overtime where you can win it. The Broncos don't have to take any chances here. They can just play it conservatively and head to overtime. Throws it short. Jaunty makes the tackle. Calls timeout. From their own 34-yard line. Passes. And it's completed. 
The stop was made by Williams. Denver calls timeout. And that was a little hum baby coming out of there from the quarterback. We've all heard about how strong his arm is, and we saw it there. Gets the pass out. Williams was there on the tackle. Gaffney finally gets into the action, making his first reception of the game. The Broncos call a timeout, and that was their third and final timeout. I put my face on that game. And this field goal is for the game. A miss will mean overtime. This is it. If he makes it, the game is over. If not, we're going to overtime. And it's good. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. That was a great kick from that distance. It really was, wasn't it? There are no field goal kicker jokes going on on the sideline right now. Just a lot of love. Thomas takes it at the 21. That tackle just sealed the deal. That's all from Jacksonville. The game stats and highlights are next.